there was a question that I wanted to share with you, multiple questions, but this question is really pressing. Well, basically, one sister got divorced, okay? And that divorce was the first divorce. And she thought that she can start accepting proposals. So one brother called and he said, you know, I'm interested in marrying this sister and her family. And her mother said, yes, she's available. And they started accepting proposals and meeting people and so on. Is this okay? No, this is not okay. This is haram, 100%. Why isn't she divorced? She is semi-divorced. Divorce is not finalized yet. Divorce is when uh, the period is over. When the man, the husband, doesn't take her back to his marriage life, as long as she is still his wife, if he dies during the idda, she will inherit from him. If she dies during the idda, she, he, uh, he will inherit from her. If he decides one day before the idda is over, Allah the Almighty said, وَالْمُطَلَّقَاتُ يَتَرَبَّصْنَ بِأَنفُسِهِنَّ ثَلَاثَةَ قُرُوءٍ Women who have been divorced, they must wait before they make the decision of accepting proposals. Not marriage, no. Before somebody would pick up the, uh, the, the would knock on your door, pick up the phone, send you a message or send you uh, and say, I want to marry you. That's not permissible at all. Not before the idda is over. Not before the idda is over. So if somebody proposed to a woman during the idda, even if marriage doesn't take place, it's haram. And the idda of a widow is even longer. The Almighty Allah said, وَالَّذِينَ يُتَوَفَّوْنَ مِنْكُمْ وَيَذَرُونَ أَزْوَاجًا يَتَرَبَّصْنَ بِأَنفُسِهِنَّ أَرْبَعَةَ أَشْهُرٍ وَعَشْرًا According to this verse, a widow. A woman who lost her husband, the uh, uh, wailing period is four months and ten days. She cannot even accept any proposal during the four months. Her family likewise, because out of respect to the man who died. So it's not only about the clearance of the womb and to make certain that she's not pregnant anymore. And it is known that he's not going to take her back to his marriage life because he is dead. But subhanAllah, the uh, wailing period, if a woman loses a, a father, a son, or a brother, is maximum three days. But a husband, four months and ten days. She's not allowed to travel, not even for Hajj or Umrah. Even if she booked her Hajj trip, she must wait until the four months and ten days elapse. Except... If she was pregnant at the time and she happened to give birth before the four months and ten days. Because the Almighty said in the Quran, So, if a woman was divorced or if a woman lost her husband, there is a idda for divorce, three months, three periods, three menstruations. For a widow, four months and ten days. Four months and ten days. It has nothing to do with the period. All right. But if she was pregnant, if she happened to conceive one day before the death or before divorce, that means the waiting period would be nine months or eight or more, depending on the conception. Until she gives birth, the pregnant woman, they must wait until they give birth. So if the husband died and next day the woman happened to give birth, the is over. A day later, if she wants, she can accept marriage proposals. Um, Subay al Aslamiya is a lady companion at the time of the Prophet. ﷺ. Her husband, who's a good man, passed away. Four months and ten days. Uh, is a waiting period. But she was pregnant and she gave birth before the four months and ten days were over. Some of uh, the Sahaba, a person by the name Abu Sanabil, saw her that she was wearing kohla and henna, the eyeliners and henna. 
So he figured that she's alone in herself to accept proposals. He said, no way. Not before four months and ten days. She went to the Prophet ﷺ and she asked him, he said, as long as you've given birth, your idda is over. Things like that, brothers and sisters, are very important and crucially significant. You don't say, I didn't know. No, you should know. You should ask as far as your taxes, you're very keen to consult the accountant. Any case, if you have a business, you consult your lawyer. When it comes to religion, you indulge into major sins and major violations and you say, I don't know, this is not an excuse.